Hello everyone. Welcome back to this channel. In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a specific set of shared parameters from one Revit file to another. If you want to transfer all the parameters, you can use transfer project standards. In this case, I'm going to transfer the specific set of parameters, which is, which is also a shared parameter. I already created the shared parameter with the group name 4D simulation and the parameter names is activity ID 1 to 15. I already added this into the project from the body simulation text file, which is actually a shared parameter file. I already added this into this project. I'm going to transfer these files, these parameters into a new Revit file. Before doing that, you need to create a new schedule I'm going to change this name into activity ID. Activity ID schedule, then click OK. I'm going to insert all these activities, activity IDs. Then click OK. Our schedule is ready now. We have all activity IDs. That's it. Then you need to save this project and close. I'm going to create a fresh Revit file with the architectural template. Then here we don't have that activity ID shared parameters because this is a new file. You don't have any new parameters. If you want to insert those shared parameters, you need to add one by one, like go to shared parameter, then select activity ID one, okay. Then check all, then click okay. You need to do like that for all activity IDs. In this case, I will show you other way. This is how, this is the simplest way to insert active shared parameters. Go to insert, then insert from file, then click insert views from file. Then open the location where the, where the Revit file which we have created uh, the schedule. This is that Revit file. Then click open. Our schedule is here. We need to, we are going to insert this view into this new, pro, new Revit file. Check only this one, then okay. That's it. Uh, now our schedule or inserted. I'm going to go to this view. That's it. Our activity ID, which is uh, parameters, all are inserted in single click. You can check by going to the project parameters. That's it. You don't need to insert one by one. You can insert by using this way. If you're working in an organization, insert into the one file and give it to others, they can insert into the multiple Revit file. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.